Well, how do that, chums, as I, Captain Stephen Exxon, today, chums, for you out there in the viewerverse, I'm making a video around making pets better. As you know, I have a pet that isn't very good. I've called him Air Biscuit. Hopefully, one day he will live up to that name, but for now, he should be called Grass Licker, because he just goes across the floor, he hardly flies. I want to make him super big, super red, and super aggressive. I also have this lovely buttery fly with a long tail. I want it to look more like a freaking dragon, so I'm going to make that super, super big and super red, and I might make it quite independent. right -o. and let's just put my eggs down here. And, uh, yeah, maybe I can sort of put the resources next to these eggs in a bit to show you what I'm going to use to sort of do that with. Now, I'm using the No Man's Sky Assistant app. When you select a resource in that app, chums, it does tell you what sort of things to add in to up those sort of things. So say if I want to make it more playful, or um, no, helpful I should say, Ferrite Dust inside of the app says it's going to do just that. But first, I need to find a system in space to make my creatures red, so I need to find some dirt for sale. And you find dirt, I'm using the economy scanner and the filter for the economy scanner, and I'm looking for an orange star. Not red, it has to be sort of like this orangey, rusty type colour. So let's have a look, let's see if we can spot one of those. And it should have an icon of, there we go, a pickaxe for mining. If you go to a mining system in space, one with a little pickaxe, it should, should, sell dirt inside of the galactic trade terminal so here we go i do like this new warp animation looks like doctor who oh for fudge sake right we've got ourselves a freighter interaction it's going to take me ages to fly over to the station i'll see you there for the power of editing and i'm already at the galactic trade terminal buying my dirt heck yes so yeah i'm going to buy quite a lot of dirt uh, I know it says two there at the moment, but I'm going to buy a shed load of it because to change the colour, you need probably about 15 or something for each for each one that I want to do, and I want to do two, so I need 30 dirt. Heck yes, I'll see you over at the Nexus. Well, I haven't gone to the Nexus. I thought I'd show you the resources I'm going to use. So I'm going to use ferrite dust to make them more sort of helpful. I'm going to use the pogium to make them more aggressive, the dirt to make them red. Now, I'm, I might use activated emerald on this one. I'm not too sure what it does. It's blank inside of the No Man's Sky Assistant app, so I might give that a swell or a twirl or whatever. Right, here we go. Now I'm up inside the Nexus, over by Kronos. Next to him, you're going to find this egg machine. And you can stick your egg inside of the machine. So there we go. I have now put my egg in there for Air Biscuit. I'm going to put in the platinum to make him super big. You can see that it says increasing. Great. I'm going to put the dirt in. You can see that I've put in a whole stack and it's now gone to unstable. And it says the dose there is going to be 63%. So really I want that to be in the 90s. So I might have to do it again with the actual dirt. Right. So now I want to make him super aggressive. So I'm going to use some pogium. Heck yes, dose 100% for 186 pogium, perfect, begin a mondo. So there we go. Now you can just pick your egg up after this process and then um, yeah, put it straight back in again. I don't know about you, but you know when you put your eggs inside the machine inside Pokemon, it goes dun 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 dun. Yeah, I got that play in my head every single time I put this in here. I know it's your Pokeballs inside of, um, you know, the old Pokemon. But yeah, I was addicted to that when I was younger. Pokemon Red and Blue. They were the days on my black and white Game Boy. Right, here we go. So let's stick that in there. And uh, we're going to find ourselves some dirt. Put that in there. Lovely. Well, that's another 63%. Okay. Well, it says they're now unstable. I think that's all I need to do to do the coloration. I think I should be fine with that. But yeah, who cares? Right, so let's stick in a low more pogium. It says they're increasing still. As soon as that says either inherited or it says personality or something other than going up, you know, it's that's when you stop doing it. Awesome. Done. And it says they're very large and, and aggressive. This is looking good. I've got a really aggressive, very large air biscuit. Can't wait to sum, summon him inside the Nexus and see if he fills it with blue smoke. Thank yes. Righto. So there we go. We can just keep putting him in over and over again. So you can do this as many times as you like. You don't have to sort of save in between or anything like that. However, you might want to because sometimes this machine has been known to sort of mess up and um, end up you know, breaking people's eggs or the eggs duplicate themselves and then they become unviable and I don't really know what the cause is it's a bit it's a bit buggy just be a little bit careful right see there it says that it's gonna it just says personality now 
that one is already maxed. I'm just going to do it anyway, just to be sure. But that is now max stat, where it said personality at the bottom there. So there we go. Done. So that, I think that egg is about there. Let's, um, oh, now we've got to do the other stat. I need to try and make him a little bit more helpful. So here we go. Let's make him bigger. It still says increasing. So hmm, maybe he's going to get even bigger and bigger. Right. Oh, cool. So let's put in the stuff for this to make him a little bit more helpful so according to the no man's sky assistant app ferrite dust should do the trick there so let's put in some ferrite dust oh helpfulness decreasing it said increasing inside of the app hmm okay well that that's not quite right so i'm going to take out the ferrite dust and i i think the cactus flesh cactus flesh or i think it was the paraffinium that also makes them more helpful we'll go with cactus flesh because i've got a shed load of that yep there we go helpfulness i'm going to use that so sadly though it uses quite a large stack 915 cactus flesh and cactus flesh takes ages to grow if you're actually farming it so yeah you might want to go to a cactus world and pick it in the wild but even then every cactus you pick you're only going to get about 45 or something so it's going to take you a while to get a stack of 900 for cactus flesh it's a bit overkill right okay oh look it's now saying inherited there so that's pretty darn sweet um i don't have to push that any further on the old uh, growth hormones but there we go cool yeah awesome we're all good and uh yeah let's um, put in some more cactus flesh lovely jubbly so yeah that's pretty much how i make my creatures large aggressive helpful and red and white because the dirt is going to change the color to a nice red and white color and as you can see my actual armor is red and white my ship is red and white i'm going for a red and white sort of theme so yeah uh, awesome so let's just stick that in there I, well, that's all i need to do now is the uh, helpfulness so i'm just going to keep using my cactus flesh i may have to do the same now on my butterfly because yeah i don't think the emerald is going to do too much i think that decreases a stat in fact so yeah leave this with me i'm going to carry on doing what i'm doing with this egg so let's just grab, grab some more of the cactus flesh stick that in there i think you get the idea and that's pretty much it you can just keep stacking these eggs into this machine over and over again until you're quite happy with the end result i mean you can't see the end result it's kind of still flying blind but before you hatch your egg all you need to do is jump in your ship out your ship and make a save inside the nexus hatch your egg take a look at how your creature looks and look at the stats and if it's not quite there do a reload but we'll be doing that next episode chums so there you go that's now saying inherited and personality is tops right well there we go i just exited out and my egg has freaking vanished. It's not there, people. It's gone. It's not in my cargo either. So this is what I mean by sometimes it can go a little bit squiffy and go a little bit of a awry. So I'm not seeing my egg anywhere. So I'm going to get rid of something. And now, now I've got my free space. If I interact with the egg machine, we'll see if it brings up both my eggs. Because my egg has now disappeared somewhere up in the rafters of the Nexus or something. There you go. Both eggs are there. Thank fudge. I'm going to put the egg there, and rather than do anything, just pick it up and put it back in my exosuit. Okay, so there we go. Just don't panic too much, and don't go crazy. But if your egg vanishes, it could still be in the cache of the actual egg machine. So there we go. That's what I mean by it's a little bit squiffy. Sometimes it duplicates the egg, and then it makes it unviable. So if you ever get a duplicate of an egg from this machine, be a little bit careful. You might want to do a reload and then just start over. Don't think, oh, awesome, I've got an extra egg. Sometimes it busts both eggs, or it breaks one egg. If you go and hatch the wrong one, yeah, weird things happen. Actually, I don't even think it would let you hatch the wrong one. It, it says something weird. Anyhow, there we go squiffiness and uh, yeah so we've got two eggs and um, i'll be hatching those in the next episode so hopefully you join me for the next episode people in viewer world and i'll see you then goodbye goodbye and goodbye again i want to say a massive great big thank you for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you to my backers over on patreon and on youtube membership if you do want to support this channel you could just not skip my adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen heck yes there's also merch on this screen now awesome <laughs>